Okay, this is an instructional video on how to collect a sterile urine sample from an indwelling catheter. The first thing I'm going to do is check the patient's record and make sure that the physician still is ordering the collection of this sample. And it looks up here like he is, so I'm going to go ahead and gather my supplies in the delivery. So I'm gathering everything that I need to go in. Knock, knock. Hi, Jose. It's Tony again, student nurse with MCC. The doc has ordered um, a urine sample be collected from your catheter, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Can you tell me what your name and date of birth is? And he tells me that his name is Jose Cuervo and that his date of birth is 9-16-95 and I can verify that there. And I also see that he doesn't have any allergies. And so I'm just going to um, check his bladder, make sure everything's working okay. I'm also going to check the the catheter site and make sure that that seems well and it looks well and it's still taped down so that's very good. So I'm going to have his family uh, exit the room just for a few moments while I take to get this sample and I'm going to go ahead and cover for some privacy. I'm going to raise the bed up to a nice working level for me. Okay Jose this just takes a few minutes it's not very long and it's not it shouldn't be painful or uncomfortable for you at all. And so I'm just going to expose the area that we're going to use to draw the port that I'm going to draw the urine from. Um, so I see that there's quite a bit of urine in this tube, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves. So there's old urine in the tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my gloves. And I'm just going to drain the urine out of the tube, back down into the collection. And I'm going to make sure to go from bottom to top, draining all that urine down so that it doesn't flow back in. And once I have the urine drained out of the tube, I'm going to go ahead and pinch the tube off and, and cover it and clamp it there. And so, Jose, that will take about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and step out and then I'll be back. So I leave the room and now I'm back. Hi Jose, I'm back again. So I'm ready to get that sample now. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. Put on my gloves. And I'm going to go ahead and check that. And it looks like there's some good urine in the tube there for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves, and I'm going to get my, my stuff ready here. So I have my alcohol swab, and I have my syringe that I need to collect the sample. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the syringe from the, from the container. get to. So I'm going to go ahead and twist this around so I can swab this port. And I'm going to swab it good so that there's no bacteria left on there. And once I have that port swabbed, I'm going to go ahead and remove the cap from the syringe. And I'm going to place it right in the middle of the port. And I'm going to draw back on the container. And I'm going to remove 20 to 30 cc's of urine. And once I have that done, I'm going to remove it from the port very carefully, not to stick myself, and put the cap back on the syringe. And once I have the cap on the syringe, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to unscrew the needle, put it in the sharps container, and I'm going to go ahead and get my specimen cup and place the urine into the specimen cup, holding it away from me and not touching the sides so I don't compromise the sample. And when I'm finished with the syringe, I'm going to go ahead and put it into the shark's container. I'm going to go ahead and securely cover the specimen cup, and I'm going to write the name, name of the patient, and Jose, the date, the time, which is now, uh, 1657.
uh, the name of the doctor and the instructions for the urine sample. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to put the urine sample in this biohazard specimen bag. I'm also going to fill out a lab slip with the name, date, and all that information that he's going to need in there, and the instructions for the sample, and place it inside the specimen bag as well on the outside. And when I'm through with that, I'm just going to clean up my mess here. I'm going to un unclamp the catheter. There, Jose, I'm completely done now. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my gloves now. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, Jose, is there anything else I can do for you? And he says no, that he's completely fine. So I'm going to set him back up. I'm going to down my stuff. I'm going to lower the bed. And make sure the handrail is up and that his call bell was with him. And then I'm going to exit the room. And allow his family to come back in. And when I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and document that I collected the specimen, the color and the odor of the urine that I collected, um, and how much I took out. So I documented that I took 20 to 30 cc's out and sent it to the lab.